screwing around and start! I am not so legendary VO, and today we're going to be talking about some of the new engine cards that came out. So, a few of them were there, uh, the effects are confirmed because of a duel that happened between the Fernimals and the, this Raid Raptor deck, and a lot of cool cards came out of it. I'm going to be doing videos on this. I'm going to be doing two videos today, one on the other Fernimal cards and one on the Edgem cards. This one is the Edgem cards, which will be going up first. So, we're going to start off with Edgem Chain, 1200 attack, 1800 defense, level 4 Dark Fiend type effect monster. Um, this card I thought was going to be much better because I remember reading stuff about it a while ago, but it turns out its effect is not as good as I thought it was. So once we're, you can only use one uh, Edgem Chain effect per turn and only once that turn, so only one of the two effects. When this card declares an attack, add an Edgem Chain from your deck to your hand. So it adds itself if you declare an attack, which means that you can use it on your next turn for some sort of other effect. If this card is sent from hand or field to the graveyard, you can add one Fright for a card from your deck to your hand. This card is okay. Simply because, send it with cards like Toy Pot and Beautiful, and you have ways to send it to the graveyard to get its effect off. And it's it's really nice because of that. It's a fact that lets you add a Fright for a card from your deck to your hand. There are new Fright for cards that actually make it so there's slight viability to playing that uh, Chimera card. But the main thing about this card is it searches itself. It's good for fusions, and I think that's really kind of it. This card kind of dropped the ball. I'm not the biggest fan of the Edge Imp Chain, but it's okay. Um, we're going to move on. Next card is Edge Imp DT Madoki. This is a level 4 fiend type dark monster. 1300 attack, 1300 defense. The card will be up right here. Um, this card is always treated as a fight for card. So this card can be searched by the card I just mentioned. So this card's effect will be helpful in that terms. You can only use the effect of Edge Imp DT Madoki once per turn. You can target one Fright for Fusion monster you control, or have in your graveyard, this card's attack and defense become the same as that target to the end of the turn. So, you can, if you can send to the graveyard the Fright for Chimera thing in McBobber, this card can be huge, and it can do some stuff like that. Or if you have another DT, or if you have a sheep on the field, copy its attack, and it can push for huge damage. His base attack at 13 doesn't do much, which hurts, and it's a level 4 Dark Fiend Diamond, so you don't want to waste your normal summon on. Some of the other cards that are actually the Fernimal cards that I'll be explaining in the second video make this card a little bit more viable, but I don't know, I see it as maybe a one-of, just just for extra damage maybe, and it's a Fright for a card at all times so you can fuse it to make Chimera. And the last Edge Imp card that was confirmed was the Edge Imp Tomahawk, or Tomahawk, level 4 Dark Fiend type effect monster, 1800 attack, 800 defense. So the new ones are all level 4, which is... Eh, it makes this a tour guide engine becomes less viable for the deck, and you don't need the tour guide engine per se. Tour guide just helped you get to some of the cards that you needed sooner, like Edge of Scissors. These cards make it so you won't need that. You can maybe throw one copy of Foolish Burial in there in your deck, and you instantly have a way to get uh, scissors. You probably don't need three copies of scissors or two copies. Like, you can run two or one copies of scissors simply because these new cards are all good. Um, so, Tomahawk's effect is you can only use each effect of Edge of Tomahawk once per turn. You can send one Edge Imp monster from your hand to the graveyard and inflict 800 damage to your opponent. That's cool because it's a free 800. You can only do it once per turn. That doesn't matter because it lets you put in the graveyard Edge Imp scissors, as I was just saying, which is really nice. Um, a lot of the Edge Imp cards do things, such as the other one that I just mentioned was the Chain. This could be a good way to help try and get his effect off. Just to free send it to the graveyard, get effect off, uh, 800 damage. You can send one Edge Imp monster from your deck to your graveyard except for Tomahawk. This card's name is treated as that to the end of the turn. This right here means you don't need the Foolish. Um, because it lets you send to your graveyard your Edge Imp scissors, and you can fuse with it. You can also, this makes it so it's a lot more consistent. I could see this card as a 3 of simply because it becomes the card you need at that time. As well as it puts cards in play, and the graveyard is where cards are in play for the deck. Um, because everything can pop back, and they have a new monster reborn in craft, and that's uh, just really, really interesting. I find the card really good. Um, the, these are just the Edge Imp cards. There are some other cards. Uh, I know there's some cards that work with these cards, but I'll be explaining that in the second video. This one's a little bit shorter, just so I get two up, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all that, and as always, have a wonderful day. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and make sure to comment down below. If you want to watch our other channels, click the jellyfish to watch blue play games such as Binding of Isaac Rebirth, or click the butterfly to view our new channel where I will talk about random anime, gaming, or silly top 10 topics. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day. Yeah.